This is the notes for Unit 11, Introducing Exponential Functions. Okay, let's start with exponential form is when a quantity is expressed as a number raised to a power. An exponential form, 32, can be written as 2 to the 5th power. So what that means is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times itself 5 times. That was what makes 32. Okay, please do not do 2 times 5. I'm going to put a big X through that. If we wanted 2 times 5, we would have simply said 2 times 5. 2 to the 5th power means I did 2 times itself 5 times. Okay? So within that, the exponent is the small raised number that tells how many times the factor is used. So in 5 to the 3rd, we did 5 3 times. And the base is the number that's raised to the power. Okay, so then 3 to the 5th, the 3, the big number on the bottom, got times by itself 5 times. So 3 is my base, my big number, my exponent tell me how many times to multiply it. Okay, so the difference here is standard form is the way we most commonly write it. Let me make that little note here to myself. So in standard form, let's go with the example they just told us. So 3 to the 5th power would be my standard form. So 3 was my base, and 5 was my exponent. So all of these are talking about the same thing. Exponential form and my standard form, right? I have a base, so a big number, and then my exponent tells me how many times to do it. Okay. You'll also see me write in a lot of my answer keys what's called expanded form. So if I expand this, that would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. So my standard form is my base with my exponent. My expanded form is when I write it out with that base however many times. So in this example, I had three, five different times. All right, so let's try an example here. So evaluate. So four to the third power means four times four times four. In my calculator, I can type that out. Four times four times four. Or I can use a calculator and do four caret to the third power. Okay, so remember from last unit, in our calculator, we were doing 4, and then this little button right here, to the third power. So we're looking for 64. Okay, so you want to make a note to yourself, and my calculator is that button right there. Okay, likewise, 2 to the 5th would mean I did 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's my expanded form. In my calculator, my shortcut, instead of typing all those out, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, I can do 2 caret 5. 32. Okay. And then anything to the first power is itself. So 3 to the first power is simply 3. Okay. Anything to the first power means I just had one of those, so it'll be that exact same number. Two other notes I want you to make here, some sad little example. So 3 to the 0 power is actually 1. We'll explain why in tomorrow's, okay? but just start with knowing today that anything to the 0 power is always 1. So I could take 100 to the 0 power and I'd still get 1. Okay. Let's also try one more here that's a lot bigger. So if I did 8 to the 15th power, that would be 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times itself 15 times. Please do not try and type that all out in your calculator. I don't want to have to do 8 times 8 times 8 and then accidentally miss one along the way. So I'm going to do my shortcut, 8 caret 15. And then you notice there's something funky going on here. I know a reasonable answer is not 3.5. That's way too small. I was supposed to do 8 times 8 times 8 times itself. Okay, so when you're doing the practice today, if any of these happen to pop up, that's what we call scientific notation. Okay, we're going to spend a couple full days at the end of the unit looking at that. But just know today, when you're starting off, if you get an answer that is not reasonable, it's way too small, it's probably something scientific notation. What this means is that I actually have 13 zeros behind this number. I took 8 times itself 15 times. That is a huge number, right? So my decimal 3.5 is not reasonable. 
I'd actually have 13 zeros behind this. So don't leave this off if your calculator today gives you something like that.